Holy cow! New York Times just recently offended the whole Chinese Genshin player community. You know the drill guys, get ready for some drama. If you were out of the loop, let me brief you on what happened. On 16 March 2022, New York Times, yeah I mean that New York Times, published an article titled Beating Japan in its own video game, a smash hit from China. Sounds good, right? Wrong. In this seemingly praising article, New York Times has spilled some offensive things about Genshin Impact and even more, the Chinese citizens as a whole. On the article, they said, quote, Genshin Impact, one of the world's hottest mobile video games has all the characteristics of Japanese invention. Giant robots, human-sized sword, characters with huge eye and spiky rainbow-colored hair, and a puzzling fixation on women in made outfits. There is just one catch. It's Chinese. Alright, what in the actual frame? What do they mean there is just one catch? It's Chinese. Are they saying that Chinese game developers shouldn't make a video game with Japanese characteristics? On top of that, they added this. Which, in short, they are saying that despite Chinese game industry got the skill and technology, they ain't got the creativity. Basically, underlining how they can only copy others and incapable of originality. The article even went as far as saying, and I quote, Genshin is a nearly picture-perfect reproduction of one of Japanese most popular video game genre, fantasy role-playing game. Dude, fantasy role-playing game is a genre, and you can't say someone imitate other just because they are in the same genre. That's just absurd. Well, at least they have the kind gesture of asking someone's opinion about this. Meet Yusuke Shibata, a Genshin Impact content creator on YouTube from Japan. Yusuke Shibata said that the portrayal isn't necessarily positive. The country is a cloistered, xenophobic archipelago clouded in radioactive fog. But for the Japanese player, those negative aspects have been far outweighed by the positive portrayals of Japan and its video game culture. But there is a little twist in that. Yusuke recently posted on Bilibili saying how he felt regretful. He was trying to convey the goods of Genshin Impact and how it was able to overcome the controversy when it was first released in Japan. Yusuke tried to say that there are more positive than negative, but the article seems like it's only trying to underline the negative aspect by literally breaking down all of them. And according to Yusuke's post, they cut out most of the interview. Well, there are also actually a few things that bother me for quite some. For example, this one where they talk about fantasy RPG is the most popular genre. I mean, where's the data that back it up? Then there's also this one where they said that Chinese has a difficulty shaking image that it has been better at imitating people's ideas and blah blah blah. Dude, once again, did you have the statistic or proof for that? They also said that Genshin is unusually popular with female audience. Okay, once again, did you get the data for that? Do you have anything to back that claim? A statistic to show perhaps? Oh, there is another one. Quote, Players in Japan have mostly seen Genshin as either a homage to or a knockoff of the newest entry in one of the country's most beloved fantasy game franchise, The Legend of Zelda. I mean, alright, sure, but where is the source? Or at least the prominent person claiming that. Most of its claim got no data, no quotes, or link to any credible sources. It's almost like I'm reading an opinion. A biased one too. No wonder Chinese Genshin community went berserk on them. I mean, there is even a video on Bilibili platform that addresses this article in details and explain how New York Times has insulted the community. And as you might guess it, it went viral. Well, I mean, just look at this reaction. The post is 80% negative. It claimed how Genshin plagiarized Zelda, Genshin is unsafe because of the spyware, portraying Japan as negative country, gambling inducing and being controlled by government. The Japanese YouTuber you interviewed said that you twist the interview and only select the negative parts. They complain about gacha system, but Japan is also the one that set it off. This post seems like it was objective and fair, but inside it, they distort the truth to form a concept that are against the truth. 
there is no such plagiarism, since the only one that same is the surface level. The core of the system and the design is totally different. Even the non-Chinese player got furious too. Japan is sitting on a pile of Three Kingdoms game, Dynasty Warrior, and Dragon Ball was based on Journey to the West. Why don't you clown whips write about that and frame it as cultural theft? I can understand what this amateur news media f***ing word. First of all, Genshin Maker are Chinese. They use otaku just because English has no words to show this mean. Second, about your a few Chinese element, in no time in the game map, Liyue area was the largest. The story happened in there show a lot of culture and Chinese people's spirit. Ben and Paul are two bad reporters. They are so unprofessional. Their points are fully racist and biased. Like, they stated the game is unusually popular with women. They probably have no knowledge about ACG industry and not treat otaku as normal people. So, what's the issue if it's Chinese? I don't think people give a f when it was Japanese or American. Why would they care about this one is Chinese? The Japanese YouTuber you interviewed in this article said that you completely twist his opinion? Are you going to explain that? You know you did something that shouldn't be done if everyone start hating on you, right New York Times? Now, it's my turn to ask you guys, what do you think about this? Is this just a biased opinion? Or is there some merit on what they say? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Oh, and please make it civil, alright?